How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be bringing you a new tutorial. It has been a great while. And now I'm not going to continue uh, any other tutorials I started earlier. Right now I'm going to do that later on. But first I wanted to show you this. As you all know, recently Silent Hills got cancelled and I was really upset. Uh, I thought it was the revival of the Silent Hill series. Well, I guess we all thought that, but apparently not. So that's why I'm going to show you this tutorial in which you can create your own Silent Hills game. Do you all remember the PT demo in which um, you would just loop through your own house every time you exit? That was really neat. So I figured I will try to recreate that and show you guys how it's done. Because I'm not going to continue this, I'm not going to complete it, so you might as well have it. So let's get started then. First of all, we have a few sprites, player sprite, floors, and herringbone. Uh, yeah, basic sprites. You can, of course, copy these. I'm not going to use all the lights, by the way. There's, only, there's a maximum of 8 lights in Game Maker since Game Maker 8.1. So, yeah, these are the 8 lights you can use. And I've got a couple of sounds that you can also use. Uh, closed doors, door handles, etc. And HB stands for heartbeat, but you will figure that out later on when you look at the GMX file yourself. So let's get, continue to the backgrounds. Oh, I just closed it. I've got a few, a few floors, and the textures are actually huge, but that's because I wanted to recreate the PS4 quality of the actual game. These are all edited with paint.net. I don't have Photoshop, so uh, <laughs> excuse me if it looks a little bit unprofessional. But this is what it looks like. It's it's pretty big, yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one, a wall texture and a door. And another door with still going on it somewhere. There it is. So let's continue the paintings. We've got a few paintings. I'm not going to show you these because uh, you know why. It's just paintings boring. And a few lens flares because if you're subscribed to me for uh, quite some time now, you should know that I really like lens flares. <laughs> so there you go. Let's go to the next one, a few scripts. Um, so yeah, here's a, here are some basic scripts, who controls, move contact object. I got these from another example, so all credit goes to that. And DVD draw lens flare, DVD set shaking, these are things that I came up with myself. I'll uh, explain later. And DVD enable and GMFT in it. These are mid mapping uh, enablers. Let's go to the next one. I don't use any shaders because I don't really know how to code them yet. I will get into that later on and I'll show you guys in tutorials how to do that once I start figuring it out myself. So the more interesting part, the objects, player object, is the first one we'll see. And I commented a bit of it for you guys, but I might as well explain it right here. These, these are the basic things uh, for a 3D game. And this is the most interesting, in my opinion, the D4D reset. If you want to get some more anti-aliasing, you can two times FXA, four times. Well, I don't know which type of anti-aliasing it is. It might be fast approximate, but I'm not really sure. I guess it's uh, MSAA, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> so this one is not really important. It just plays two sounds to initialize the gameplay, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Well, I'm breathing into my mic, I'm sorry. Um, basic mouse looking scripts, yeah, you... It's really messy, yeah, <laughs> I really apologize, but... I've done my best to show you what I wanted to, so... Uh, if you just want to make your own PT game, just uh, copy this, because it's really, uh, messy. You know, smooth collision, and another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you right here, excuse the mess. So, yeah, that's it can't see my cursor it's flickering. I don't know if that's uh, being recorded as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really hard to navigate right now. Escape ends the game. Oh, my throat. It's going down. And this is what allows you to open doors. Alright, that's it. That's the first object. Well, there's a few more. You know how the floors work in Game Maker, I guess. And if you don't, well, you can just take a look at it because I have a link in the description. So you can download this file yourself. A few lights. These lights are actually more interesting, with uh, the lens flare and all. 
and I have my own way of uh, recreating ambient occlusion. It's really yeah, inconvenient and uh, also inefficient, but it works. <laughs> it works great, actually. So I'm going to keep using that until I find something better. Uh, object respawn, which is not just, it's, it's basically the door that transports you back to your original position, your X start and Y start. And I'll show you that later when I show you the gameplay. And the door intro, this is where you start. Recording. Yep. This is where you start, this is the first door you encounter. Object start, well this is an invisible object, this is what transports you back just like object respawn. Object respawn basically uh, transports you back to object start. And I'll show you why I'm not using X is X start or something like that. An open door, which does basically the same thing. Last thing, the rooms that look like this. The really uh, weird little room. I think I skipped a lot. Yes, I did. <laughs> Skip this thing as well. This is uh, object pillar. As you can see it right here there's two of them here and one last one over here so that's basically it that's uh, all there is to say uh, I don't know if you can hear my mouse clicking but if you can I'm sorry <laughs> so that's basically the game uh, I'm gonna show you some gameplay uh, right now because I pre-recorded that and I uh, because I cannot use my microphone and then record at the same time because it gets all messy I tried it before but it didn't quite work so I apologize for that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to download the file that's in the description. And I'll see you guys later.